G'day, welcome to Mount Cranberry Apiculture. It's um, Friday the 1st of March 2024. Technically the first day of autumn, but um, still plenty of, plenty of summer left in the season here. Um, just revisiting this hive, I noticed on the 7th of January it had a virgin queen in there. So something unmated running around. So the original queen that they've put in the nukes being superseded or squashed or something. Um, 31st or 2nd I've noticed that it's a drone layer so that, that virgin queen didn't mate and it's got to the point where one or more workers have said well I'll, I'll have a go and um, subsequently we've got just drone brooding here so it's not just the, um, the lack of a queen that causes drone layers to pop up it's the lack of um, worker brood open worker brood in my understanding so um, that worker open worker brood releases pheromones that suppresses the ability of these workers to to um, develop um, ovarioles and eventually lay lay eggs so you can have one or more to my understanding in there um, so let's get in and have a little look and just see what it, what it looks like um, I've done these drone layer videos before but I think people know what what I end up doing with them, but um, we'll just go through it again. So this next frame is sort of classic classic drone layer. Um, you can see that because the drones are too big for the worker cells, they actually build them up um, out. They pop out the ends. You can see them here chewing the chewing them off. I even try to make. Um, I even try to make queen cells out of them. You can see a queen cell starting there, but it's just futile because um, these workers are infertile, so all they're laying is drone, drone brood. There's a better view of it there. Um, so another, trying to make another queen cell there, and there's actually an egg, an egg inside that. So it's interesting that they try and make um, queen cells out of um, drone, la drone eggs and larvae. So. But that's classic, classic drone layer there. Um, you can also at times see that they, there'll be multiple eggs in the cells and they're kind of halfway up the edge of the cell as well because the workers can't get their abdomen right down to the bottom of the cell. So there's various fixes for these things and the old, the old trick of you know shaking them out 100 metres away and the theory that the laying worker won't fly back and I think that's been pretty well debunked you can see these cells building up there um, yeah because I think they can fly back to the to the hive um, the other way of dealing with it and I just couldn't be bothered is to just keep exposing them to um, open worker brood so you've got to sort of put a frame in every every few days or every week and they eventually will start making queen cells but you know I'd I'm not going to throw throw those sort of resources at this type of thing at this time of year. So all I'm going to do is walk over here and shake them out under the ground and throw this super onto a onto another hive that can make use of it. They're really vulnerable at the moment to to small hive beetle. They're another classic classic case of trying to fit drone drone larvae into worker cells. You can see a drone hatching out of that worker cell there. Out he comes. Mm -hmm on you mate well done um, so yeah as I said they're, they're really vulnerable to small hive beetle they aren't terribly bad here at the moment but um, they certainly take advantage of the hives like this so certainly no queen in here um, and we will go and shake these out and just throw this super on a a hive that will make use of it. I don't see it as a loss of a hive. I see it. I see it as a save of a of a super of resources. Um, so yeah, that's where where I'm at with this. <coughs> so this hive. So this hive right next door will do. Um, it's, I've just taken out the frames that are that hadn't been drawn, and we'll put these these drawn frames in, so I'm just going to walk over, shake them out in the ground, 
and throw them into that hive. Very few bees left in this in this hive. See that classic classic drone brood in worker cells there. So my message is always don't muck around with these bloody things. They're just not worth worth the time and effort to fool around with them. Look, I might do it one day just to to have a go at it, but I just don't have the time or, or inclination to do it. And I don't want to lose this super of resources to to small hive beetles, so. Well, I'll find another hive just to put the the rest of these in. So that's how I deal with with drone layers. I don't give them the time of day. So I hope that's helped, and um, see you on the next video.